All right, so now we want to move on to 18.3, fluid flow. Let's change this. Okay, so before, in the previous sections, we've looked at fluids that are at rest. Okay, right, just in a, uh, in a glass or something, so the water is at rest. But now we want to look at uh, when fluid is flowing. And um, basically, there are these, these two categories of fluid flow. The one is laminar. The other one is a turbulent flow. Okay, laminar is briefly described as um, when the flow is such that at any location the velocity is constant. Okay, at any given location in the fluid. So if you've got some object and it's flowing over the fluid over here, at any given location the velocity at that location is constant okay that's just a, a, a brief description or characterization of laminar flow laminar flow is um, when when the flow is smooth okay it's ordered um, as we said constant velocity at these points um, whereas turbulent <clears throat> turbulent is described or characterized by chaos chaotic changes okay and um, here are some examples of turbulent flow right, these are vortices okay there's there's a kind of a, a kind of a chaotic motion of the fluid here's um here's a laminar flow that's ordered inside a pipe right it's the, it's ordered it's smooth um, the velocities are, are constant at any point, but then when it moves into this section, it becomes chaotic and turbulent. Okay. All right. So how do we how do we see the, the kind of fluid flow that we have? Well, we can study the streamlines. <coughs> the streamlines are, are basically just the the paths that particles inside in the fluid take. These paths that they take over an object. So, for example, over here we see the streamlines over a car. Um, and the way that they do this is they inject uh, smoke into the flow of, of the gas that's moving over the car in this case. Or ink into the liquid that is uh, going over this aerofoil here, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's an airfoil. Okay. So more on to laminar. When the flow is laminar, here are some more characteristics. Uh, streamlines maintain their shape and position. Okay, so the, the streamlines over, over those objects, they maintain their shape. They, you keep seeing this, right? Uh, whereas with turbulence, the streamlines again, erratic, chaotic. I, I hope we're getting the idea. And they often curl into things called vortices. Okay, and that's kind of what I was showing you here. These are vortices. they got this kind of shape like that, right? Like that. Uh, I think I'm doing it okay. So these are, these are the vortices that we see, those kinds of shapes. Okay. All right, uh, here's another picture of turbulent flow around a cylinder. And the, here we see a vortex, right? One vortex. Um, okay. Now, what determines laminar or turbulent flow? What determines laminar or turbulent flow? A few things. The first is the speed of the flow. Number one, the speed of the flow. Number two, the shape of the object. The speed, the shape, and then its viscosity the viscosity which is simply its resistance to shear stress okay all right we'll look more at this in the next video